Krishna called all the gopis and told her, Oh, have you come to see me? You have seen me. Now you should return back to your homes and be engaged in your jobs. Now you are all with me here for seven, six days. Now you should return and remember Krishna and chant, remember. Do your... In home you should tell, Oh, we are very happy there. Always hearing the time. So delicious Mahaprasadam. All kinds of arrangements were there. No expense on even a farthing. Don't tell that, oh, I will have paid something. Oh, so much problems there. Don't tell. Otherwise, it will tell they will not be attracted. And if you are telling what? <coughs> Very good. No expense. Oh, even they wanted to pay us our traveling fare and all. Very good. And they, oh, I want to see Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> And inspire them to come again and to hear all Hari Kata Gaur Prama. If anything I told against your heart, thinking your heart, criticizing in the harsh world, please forgive me. And again we will meet them. Uh, yeah. Always remember Krishna. Always remember Swami Ji. Shlavati Vedam Swami Maharaj. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda. And Kanjugal Radha Krishna. Go. Hari Go. So um, just as a practical announcement for uh, <clears throat> for us leaving this place, there'll be a breakfast tomorrow and lunch. There'll be lifts going to the different airports at the different times. Um, should have back to Randy Marsh, we'll be giving class in the morning here and in San Diego, Radhika in the morning mat in the evening with a Saturday night hurry now. So there's lunch and there's breakfast here and everyone moving in the afternoon to downtown San Diego for those who wish for her guitar from, uh, from Maharaj to downtown. <coughs> Regarding the rooms here, uh, we have to, if you read the slips on your beds, to make up the beds ready, nice and clean for when you leave. This is very important so that we don't have to sp spend a lot of time here because we have to get down for Maharaj's class in the tomorrow afternoon. Also, the, the cleaners are a little bit unhappy with the standard of cleanliness in the toilets. So if someone would like to um, volunteer to clean up, then this would be very nice and leave a good impression in their minds for <coughs> us. They were very happy to receive us here and we're very grateful for their facility. And um, so we're grateful for them and we thank everyone in this regard if they can be thoughtful enough to clean up and make everything very nice. Oh, my so much thanks. <coughs> The Joshi and your devotees of Lopakti Vedam Swami Maharaj. And so much thanks and my heartly blessings to the managers who manages all these things, like Jagu Mohan.
Oh, also so much blessing and uh, thanks to Mahabharat, Mahibharat Prabhu and his relatives who are making so much good drama.
Thank Joe Tamita by Prima Mai from Hatcha, California. And the title of the presentation is called The Liberation of Sarvam of the Chajan. We pray for the pleasure of Shri Gurudev and all the assembled devotees. After taking sannyas, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted to go to Vrindavan. But Nityananda Prabhu tricked him into coming back to Nadia. There, Mother Sachi convinced him to take a residence in Jagannath Puri, where she could hear about his activities regularly. Leaving Nadia in the middle of the night, with Nityananda Prabhu and a few other devotees, Mahaprabhu headed for Jagannath Puri. Soon, after Mahaprabhu was taken to Sarvabhama's house, 
Nityananda Prabhu and others arrived in Puri. Hearing that Mahaprabhu was at the house of Saragoma, they hastily proceeded there. You are saying 
that in this age of Kali, the Supreme Lord does not manifest a Lila avatar, and so he is known as Tri Yuga. But in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it clearly states, Krishna Varanam Visha Krishnam Sango Pangasrapajanam Yagnai Sankirtana Prayar Yajanki Hi Sumedhusha. In this age of Kali, those who are intelligent perform the congregational chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, worshipping the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who has come in this age loudly glorifying the name of Sri Krishna. His incarnation is golden in complexion and is always accompanied by his personal expansions and temporary expansions along with his devotees and associates. But what is the need of telling you so much evidence from Shastra? You are a very dry speculator. <laughs> what is the use of planting a seed in dry, barren land? When the Lord is pleased with you, then you will understand everything. Oh, Gopinath, go to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and invite him and all his associates to come here. Take Jagannath Prashad and first offer it to him and his associates. Then come here and teach me well. Yes. And Gopinath Acharya went to see the Lord and invited him on behalf of Saraboma. The Bhattacharya's statements were discussed before Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Gopinath and Mukunda disapproved of the statements. Mahaprabhu, on the other hand, saw it as paternal affection and, and had mercy toward him. The next day, Mahaprabhu and Saraboma together visited the temple of Lord Jagannath, and offering the Lord a seat, he began to instruct him. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did not say anything and did not indicate whether it was right or wrong. He simply sat there and listened to the Bhattacharya. Chapter 9 Chaitanya Vedanta Sutra very clearly. 
But your explanations simply agitate my mind. The meaning of the verses in the Vedanta Sutra certainly clear purports in themselves. But the other purports that you present simply cover the meaning of the sutra like clouds cover the sky. For each verse, the direct meaning must be accepted without interpretation. However, you neglect the direct meaning and process with your imaginative and interpretations. Conch shells and cow dung are nothing but bones and stool for some living entities. But according to Vedantas, according to Vedic verses, and according to Vedic version, there are more considered very pure. The Vedic statements are self-evident. Whatever is stated there must be accepted. Actually, the supreme absolute truth is a person. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is full of all opulence. You are trying to explain him as impersonal and formless. If one considers the Supreme Personality of Godhead in both features, personal and impersonal, he can actually understand the absolute it is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam how greatly fortunate are Nanda Maharaj and all the residents of Raj. The Lord is the master and the living entity is the servant. That difference is eternal. However, you declare that the living entity is personal, the living entity is and the Lord are one and the same. The theory of illusion can be applied only when the living entity identifies himself with the body. As far as the cosmic manifestation is concerned. personality of Godhead is the central point of all relations. Acting in devotional service to him is one's real occupation and the attainment of love of Godhead is the ultimate goal of life. So Bola became astonished upon hearing the Lord's words. He asked the Lord to explain the other Olivers, but the Lord wanted to hear his explanation first. Then the Bhattacharya explained the other verse in nine different ways. After hearing his words, the Lord smiled and began to speak. The Lord then explained that same other Olivers in 18 different ways. <coughs> Upon hearing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's explanation of the Ahmadala verse, Sarvabhava was struck with wonder. Shelter of the Lord. The Lord desired to show him mercy. 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu first showed him his four-handed form and then appeared before him in his original form as Krishna with a blackish complexion and a flute pressed to his lips. By the mercy of the Lord, all truth revealed to Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya and he could understand the importance of chanting the holy name and distributing love of Godhead everywhere. If one hears with great faith these pastimes concerning Mahaprabhu's meeting with Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, he will very soon be free from the net of speculation and fruit of activity and will attain the shelter of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's lotus feet. Gaur Premen. Like 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. She cut, cut it all the arguments of Sarada Maharaja. That Supreme Personality of God is the sapless quality. And no attributes. His arguments were covering the truth of Vedanta. The enemy meanings of this sutra were like sun. And the arguments for mental exercises of Bhattacharya were covering, trying to cover that Krishna has no worship, no attributes, nothing. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and very small all men sent him, defeated Sarp Mahabharata. Quoted his story. Same way Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Kashi, all the arguments he did to Prakasam and he could not come. And he realized when he saw Sarpuja, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, oh himself Krishna. And then he was wondered. Then he realized that who is he? Not if I did not say Then he requested Mahaprabhu to explain the meaning of Atma Ramasya Maniyo Nirgam Bhavu. And Mahaprabhu told that he is your And he did nine kinds of explanation. And then Mahaprabhu, not touching all these nine minutes, and he told like sixteen, eighteen kinds of explanation. And he or oh, he can be an ordinary person, or oh, he is supreme, only supreme or not. And later on he realize all these things and become a pure body, body devotee of Chaitanya. Next day Mahaprabhu went to him after showing his short bhajaru in the morning, taking some prasad of Jagannath. In morning at about four, and he told, gave it to. And he began to pray the Mahaprasad like Mahaprasade Govinde Nam Pramani Vaishnava like this. And here, and at once, without washing face, move, mouth or anything. So he became very high to us of the Lord. You should try to fall all this. Really, not a drama like a drama place. After drama you forget all this. Try to be like that and follow all the principles. Oh my heart be blessed to Go.
and of a golden complexion, has descended with his brotherly tie of the Together, they have overwhelmed all in Nadia with divine ecstasy. You also go and receive your deliverance. Of my Veda, to your brother, Koinu Paramashuki, Dukha Durego, Chinta Narohi, Chodike Ananda Devi. Pura Iti Haas, Bulina Shakal, Shiva Shakal, Amita Toma, Tunita Toma, Kikaj Apanadami. I have become supremely joyful by surrendering myself at your holy feet. Unhappiness has gone far away, and I have no more anxiety. I see joy in all directions. I have completely forgotten all past history by feeling great joy in my mind. I am yours, and you are mine. What need is there of any other treasure? And now, lastly, we come to a flower cluster of prayers shining with a resplendent jewel. We humbly place that jewel before the lotus feet of Shibu Day in the form of this song, full of our hopes and aspirations, spoken in the language of this place. Gone is the vanity of male egoism, O Hana. Now I am your faithful maidservant. O Lord of Radhas, in the groves of Braja, I will perform devotional service as a follower of one of the Sakis. I will string together a necklace of forest flowers, and tossing buds shall be the jewels of that necklace. With utmost care, I will place the garden in the hands of that confidential devotee, and she will take it with affection. Then, she will place the garland around her with her necks, and I watch in wonder from afar. The confidant will then say to me, Listen, O oh beautiful one, you should remain in this grove as my attendant. Today, you shall string together beautiful flower garlands that will enchant Radha and Krishna. The responsibility for your maintenance shall be mine. My cottage in the grove is yours. When I serve Radha and Madhava, you will attend behind me. After preparing Tambur and bringing Kavita, you will give them to me, knowing me to be yours. But to be known, having heard all these instructions, bows down at the lotus feet of that confidential servant. <coughs> Thank you. 
Radhika, walk. Come on, walk. December 22nd, year 2000. What time is it? Sita Priya? 11 o'clock in the evening. We just got back from seeing Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Maharaj. Shivara is getting so much mercy. Okay, walk. Walk, Radhika. Top, top, top. Walk, walk. There you go. Walk, walk, walk. Come on. Don't be lazy, Radhika. <laughs> get up, get up. Put her up. Radhika, get up. Radhika, get up. Radhika, get up. Huh? Shiradika. Shiradika. Hmm, you can do it later. 